Hello, and welcome back to the NDS. We are here at race 8 at Rusty's Chicken Farm. Take a quick look at qualifying. <coughs> nice. Alright. We got the field there. <coughs> Pace cars off. Bissell on pole. And it's going to be the green flag out at the Foster's Farm. Foster Farms 400. Yeah, plate track away. You can see that low line come more into use here. <coughs> I'd be kind of scared if I was starting high. As early on these packs of cars, not going to give himself enough room down the back stretch. That's going to be the dangerous place to watch. Shoppa and Jerry just not getting off each other. Right, this track's wide enough. Like they could you go ahead and use it. Use it, pussy. What are you scared? Huh. Well, if anything, I think we still got all thirty eight cars up in this bundle here. You have a really sharp eye there. Whoa. Yep, everybody is here. All 38. Caddy King's kind of lagging a little bit back, but that's honestly for the better at this point. As once they get start getting wide up here, it, it they're gonna they're gonna get a little too close for comfort. Oh, speaking of too close for comfort, around goes the 52. Oh, more trouble. 99 with some damage. 17 around. A 10 got a piece of it. I'll have to go back and see that later as cars come to the line. Lap 2. Caution. As now everyone hits the line, they're going to get sorted out. Go back to that moment of caution with the 52. Yeah, just it's hard, it's hard with room here. The 52 comes down on the 21. <coughs> As. That probably just 21's probably just a little mad about that. Like figures from the rivalry that they've formed. Eddie got a piece too. I know Racer, Eddie, Ox got like a little bit of damage. She Tayo hit there. Shoppa as well. It'll be interesting to see like what all these cars who are coming around, spinning around, and all whatnot, do once they come back. Okay, so we're on lap three. This Toad Warrior is now pacing us around. We'll see what happens when they hit pit road, honestly. All right, we got all day. Kruger Meyer there, second place, followed by Exalta and Arn. I'm not sure if they're going to take it. I'd like to see some of them do. Oh. A lot of guys in the back are, though. Probably most of the damaged cars. So. Yeah. Another unfortunate early out for guys like East Lamp, Tayo, Racer, and whatnot. Uh, light's still going. Lap six. Alright. Running order looks the same. Misty Viper out to 10th now. And, huh. Those <laughs> drivers were able to all get their cars in somewhat of a shape to go back out racing, but it seems like a pretty significant tire issue has taken Blast out of this race. So, unfortunate for the six. 
Face car is pulling off for Toad Warrior to get these guys back to green. You know, with all the different, like, car speeds on this restart, it'll be interesting to see what happens here. Now that they're going back green. There is no, like, line change rules, so... Kryptonite took Zents all the way to the fence. Like... <coughs> he did that 22 dirty. There's now cars really wanting to get by each other as early as they can. <coughs> yeah, now the pack is starting to get back. It's like, you can really see once we pan to our wide cam that drivers near the back are having a much tougher time keeping up. And those guys with damage um, won't be keeping up. That's an unfortunate sight to see. It's still, still decent pack racing, though. It wasn't like a major incident. So as long as you're still here, welcome to the tea party. Eight of Kyle D. A smooth operator on that eight car. It's the best they've been like ever <coughs> you can see Bissell in the 48 just doing what he does best loves loves the throw plate tracking he's got the 9 not the 9 the 5 with him the 9's out there a little bit more front but uh yeah King. King knows that with a winless career so far, he's got to get something going. Absolutely needs to get to victory only one way or another. KSS BSS hasn't been around as long, but still, with what he's got under the hood, he's looking for more. Yeah, it's quite a lot of drivers who haven't won in a while or at all. Still in contention. <coughs> Mizzou keeping keeping close with the fifty one. A little too close. Space off now. Laundry sauce going all for not. All or nothing on the bottom there. Fifty five. Trying to keep Take command here. It's just like I gonna run out of room. That wall on that little like triovalish bend type thing, a little too daunting. It might be dangerous to actually hit that. A lot of these drivers that you know. Unfortunately, we're in that big one at Talladega. Might find new hope here at the chicken farm. But with packs like these, nothing is fucking certain. Oh, shit. Fast lanes. They're just both kind of in going high. You see that double zero actually making... Like, relatively good positioning compared to his, the others. I don't think the cautions are over, because this pack is like a lot of cars. There's about a good 31 cars in this group here, including the Ted of Ox, who has raced his way back. He's back in this pack for more. Ten, our resident plate tracker. First ever winner. Looking to get more. Probably going to have that longest winless streak record for a long time. Zents and Ladion. A little too close for comfort. And Arn's flanking him on the high side. 
Oh, uh, a lot of this pack broke off to pit. And that's going to create a bit of a speed differential for those staying on. I'm not sure who benefits the most here. But it'll be interesting. <clears throat> but first, let's take a word about our sponsor, Foster Farms. As you can tell, Foster Farms, they deal with chicken. Like, I first had them at, like, a place that wasn't my home. I was working with the rest of my family, and I, my dad was like, here, try this for lunch one day. And I had it. It was great. I wanted more. I figured out the Foster Farms brand, those, like, chicken wings that they have. That's really awesome. They sell them at a Kroger. So I could drive, like, a half an hour to Kroger to get them if they're in stock. But when they are, they're amazing. Like, the bomb diggity. Nothing really much to say as uh, they just have good wings as the 77 spinning. That will be a caution. Uh, kind of an abrupt ending to my sponsor segment given the um, caution that came out. Now I have some good news for the whole like the people that have a stick up their ass about how bad pitting is. Because of how big this track is, nobody's really lost a lap, but the 77 still went around. Actually, let's let's like take a look at the surroundings. What exactly happened? Oh. Oh, the double zero hit Exalta into the 77, causing him to spin like that. Any alternative angles? Let's actually... Fuck me. Do rear chase on the double zero here. Like, you see him riding through. He just goes up. And then you just see the smoke and the 77 just doing his spins. 77 stays out, though. So, yeah. It's A, Salta. Then those others, they're on their way. They're trying to sort it out because they have, like, an order to get into. They have, like, mandated orderings. Vet Nation has to leapfrog both these guys because Vet Nation was classified 32nd. Uh, it, it, that's just how the AI worked this game. Although, some issues for Laundry Sauce. Did he have a problem? The 55... Just a really... Oh... Comes into his stall. Well, oh, okay. Yeah, that'll do it. It's like Vet Nation was entering Pit Road, and Vent gets, sh and Caddy King just shoves Vent inward, and Vent pushes Laundry Sauce out of the way to break out. So, yeah, Vent Nation back on Pit Road. This is one of the most dangerously narrow pit roads for a track like this. So this type of stuff isn't exactly uncommon. And now that I've shilled out another company without needing to ask them for permission first, we can go back to racing without having to worry about that segment anymore. Where the fuck are these cars? Okay, so it's Jerry, uh, Fang, something, Arn, Kerbo, BS, Volley, Macelle, Hyper, Puffy, Caddy, all the way for position. So, Ladion had a mechanical, and Laundry Sauce is still, is, he's getting that sorted out right now. He's a few laps down already, so it's not like he'll be getting anything. There's 35 on the lead lap. <clears throat> Alright, the sauce is coming back out. So the laundry sauce will probably be stuck in his own area of the field. It's definitely a one-stop race. As the field is getting back up to speed, they're going to hit lap 17 right now. So Jerry Silent Fang 
lead them off as everyone else getting up speed here. The five of hyper. And he's, he feels he just feels he's in a pretty comfortable position because there's a ton of cars behind him that can provide the help, even if the leaders kind of distance themselves a bit. So it'll be interesting to see. This is one of the one of the more intriguing um, races here. Well, let's see where the seventy seven ended up after all that shit. Yeah, he's kind of uh not uh straight up not having a good time right now. Neither is Exalta. Yeah, some of those cars kind of stuck back there, but uh the main pack is still relatively healthy. Plenty of wide to go around. King trying to open up as far low as he can. Jerry, Jerry's leading as they've kind of run into Laundry Sauce. Who is going his third lap down? I think he's already three down. What the fuck? I think he's all. He's either gonna go. He's either three or four down right now, and he's not really. I think he, they're integrating him into this pack, but that's definitely costly for those who have taken that burden upon themselves. Basel out front with KSS. That three car wanted to lead some laps. I don't blame him. It seems like King and RS are looking for their own ways around as well. Uh, Goofy just uh, rolling the line. There he's trying to get RS going for broke. RS doesn't care anymore. He's like, give me the lead or give me death. Preferably the lead. As he gets in front of the 62 there. Toad and Krugermeyer are close on each other. There's a lot of cars just in this main pack that just like surprising to see. Because these Zents try to pull himself up oh, his rookie year so far has just been a train wreck and a half, but how about it? Wanna see a twenty two get success? I mean it'd be it would be it'd be fun. See some new faces at the front. So wide, just get into a pushing battle with whoever the fuck's in front of you. Still eleven to go. There's probably going to have to be some fucking mad lad be like lifting off, trying to fucking save fuel like a boss. I mean, it's perfectly legit. Every single car here is subjugated to the same rules. So, fucking go crazy. What's your strategy? Some of these cars have nothing to fucking lose. Like, you think Ox gives a shit about these guys? Like... He's going to go hard just to see what he can do. He's only got, like, on tap for, like, five races. Fucking make the most out of it. Let your nuts hang, plate track, man. Although the, like, replacement tracks means that he didn't get a chance to go to Hula Hoop, which kind of sucks, but, you know, rules are rules. I'm not just gonna do something really stupid. I see Born and Arn making good progress low. Just keep in mind, don't 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 get too close. Like I see those Penske cars just riding side by side with each other. Just just move to a safe spot. Don't do anything rash decision making. Oh, that 10 is absolutely going in. That 23 had to give him room. Oh, more crashing. Oh, it's a big wreck. Oh, it's a big wreck. Laundry, Duke. And more. Oh, Mizzou. Toad on pit road. Oh, that's, that's every, that is all of them. 
This is the big one. Big pile up here. Big, big wreck. What the fuck happened? Yep. Only a matter of time. All right. Who done it? It looked like Mizzou and Zents were the initial instigators of that contact there. Okay, let's uh, give it your best shot here, helicopter cam. Oh. Oh, yeah, you see Mizzou just, Mizzou and Zents just make that contact. Oh, big contact there for Hyper. Goofy in it. Toad spinning down pit road. And these guys who are coming in like... Oh, brake, brake pedal, what are those? King just doing a great job trying to get slowed down. He See that hit there by Launder Sauce. King and RS doing amazing jobs to get it slowed down. Volley getting through. RS still slowing down. Holy shit. That 51 man just absolutely getting it through. Oh yeah, it's not over back here. Oh, Mizzou. Yeah, how did Volley not hit the 19? That's what I want to fucking know. Yeah, see the 19 here. It's like, how did Volley not hit him? Hyper really just had nowhere to go, but I'm not sure what to make of that. Volley doing a great job. And the, night, the double zero just fucking newman it right there in the Mizzou. <coughs> Yeah, that's a Newman moment, and they're still fucking going in. Vet Nation, there's Vet Nation, Racer, Eddie. They're fucking. They're still wrecking. Clearly, somebody thought they could play hero, going through the pack. Not meant to be. Yeah, by the time fucking Shoppa and Tayo get there. It's a, uh, it's free. The big one. Not really sure what else I can make there. All right, one more angle. Yeah, just they just keep running. Some drivers really good on the brakes. 7 to 51 had great brake discipline. Everyone else kind of flubbed the bag there. Double zero sliding in. And there's still more cars coming through. Like, Jesus Christ, guys. I mean, I know it's a race, but God damn. Well, that... Surely fucked the field size. As now the list, the row of dead are just increasing so much. Like, well, we're on lap 24, and Caddy King currently is trotting out the lead so far. All right, pace car still going around. 25. I think everyone should be good on fuel now. What else do we need to make this race crazier? Alright, car's in. Alright, Caddy, step up. Five more laps, man. 43 in the lead is the list of dead. Read like a fucking obituary list. God damn. Alright. What you got, boys? And talk about it. man, I see that 52. Like, he's up here, but like, he just doesn't have it. He's just not as fast as the other guys. 
And he's still going to try and be competitive here. How, how, how much does five laps get you? Bissell proving to everyone why he's king at these types of tracks. I don't think it gets any more like Chad than this. Fucking Chad moment here. The 18 proving his power. Like, this man knows that Season 2 was a bit of a letdown for him in terms of uh, showing up as he actually was dealing with injury. But now, it's serious. And he's going to flex his might for to be a title contender or some shit. And the 43 is out. That's not good. As drivers scrambling to get around him. Modern plate tracks have descended to chaotic racing. Top three kind of scooting away. Can't let that happen. Huh, maybe the fuel situation isn't really uh, concrete as we thought it would be. And at least some of the drivers who are more worried about that are already mourning over their dead race cars. So, uh, not exactly the worst situation. All right, straight line. It's like a straight line draft for three more laps with all these guys. We're going to see if they can leapfrog each other. The cell holding point, though. It's going to be a tough sell to get around him. Yeah, train racing. And these guys love train racing as much as they love pineapple on pizza. Say they don't. I think King's wreck discipline could get him a good finish, even if he doesn't win here. 18. He's going balls out low side. Sure, why not? Add to his uh, legacy this season. See what he's got. But Ace isn't quite ready to give it up. Trained for me on the bottom. This driver still going all balls out. Keep your eyes. Like, you see some drivers here, like the 51 waiting in the wing. Like, he may not have help from behind him, but who knows? With what all, everything we've seen, who fucking knows? Two more. It's Ace and KSS side by side for second. They just need to get to the cell. Unless you want to see the plate track or get another one here. It's like signing Michael Waltrip to plate tracks when he's actually really fucking good at plate tracks. I don't know what the fuck I'm going on about. Um, Kyle D looking low, get trying to get help from RS. Fast lane 11. But that those, those guys like training up high are really strong. King trying to go with Ace. And they're trying to get the low side actually activated here. White flag in the air. Can the King of Kings in prime position to win it? Can the seven do it? 18. Giving him hell on that low side. F4 Ace keeping it out. Keeping it stretched out there. And these guys leaning back a little too far. I don't see what run in the universe can get you to the front. But the eight car going for it. Oh, racer, the lap car. Flying right back down the middle. RS needs to push from the 41. Doesn't get it. Kyle D out front now. Karibo down as well. Any more lap cars in the way? Push, push, push. 842 lap car. Kyle D gets his first career win, and it's going to be a doozy and a half. Oh, man. You can't say that wasn't competitive. Hooey. God, the frustration. These guys, knowing that they have top five. 
top 10 cars in that final pack, but it just wasn't quite meant to be. No caution out yet. Yes, Eddie taking his Lee lap finish. Oh my lord. Yeah. Yeah, 43 had like that lead, but he kind of ran it out there. Kind of unfortunate. But uh, hey. Just, yeah, deal with dealing with friends, dealing with enemies. All sorts of wacky, hijinks, bullshit excitement. It just felt really weird near the end there. So many cars were damaged. I knew it would get kind of spaced out like that, but only the cleanest got the best finishes. As plenty of fuel issues, surprisingly. Wonder Sauce, Caddy King running out, Toad. He had that damage, but it says no fuel there. A couple fuel leakers. Uh, plenty of just all over the place moments, but uh, yeah, what you gonna do about it? Anyway, that's all we got for the NDS today. Then, yeah, we'll see you next time when we don't host a race at a fucking chicken farm. Peace.